Hello, my name is Kevin and welcome to the Love Decanters channel. So today I'm going to talk about Thomas Webb's ribbonette pattern. I've seen something on Facebook and people have been looking at it and going, oh look at this, is like ribbonette but it's not. And yeah, so I thought I'd show you what it is and also I'll show you the thing that someone showed that looks like ribbonette but isn't because it's made by Stuart and it's Mark Stuart England. And um, yeah, so this is something you need to be cautious of. Yes, he says, yes. you do need to be cautious. So like things like um, white fries with ribbed wave pattern, which everybody says you turn on his hand, you can see six sides. And then you look at the, compare it to the Thomas Webb wave pattern. You turn it on his hand and you can see four. Yeah, well, Thomas Webb made something that looks very like a rib wave where you can see it turning up at six and um, it's in fact exactly like rib wave and also I know I think some of them were made on the continent as well imported to the UK but there's an old tableware and white fries seem to confine itself to bowls and vases so and that kind of thing so yeah, whether there's you know, any, any tableware, glasses and jugs and stuff like that, I don't know. But anyway, let me show you the um, what it looks like. So this is it. It's like a, can you see? It's like a horizontal zigzag. If I do this and point it in, can you see? It's like a zigzag. And in actual fact, this has, I think it's got, is it six sides there? I can see, yes. This does have six sides, but they're pointy. So, so they come to a point at one end and they come to the point at the bottom too. So that it's like a zigzag. So there you go, that's what it is. And um, I've got a reference I'd like to show you from Thomas Webb that actually tells you it was made from 1910 to 1928 at least, maybe longer, because that was the last catalog they found it in. And then so the secret is, is that what I'm going to tell you is that this glass came out of my kitchen cupboard. Yes. So I have a shelf full of these and a shelf full of some of the others. I have shelves full of this because this is what I use. This is my everyday usage glasses. Lovely lead glass. So, um, so I have a bit to show you. And I also have some non everyday use things as well, which I'll show you as well from the same pattern. So first of all, I'll show you the reference and then we'll get on and have a look at the glass. And at the end, I've pulled out the photos from Facebook and I will show you um, the vase that started a discussion about ribbonette or not ribbonette. So this is my reference that I have and the bad news is I'm not sure where I photograph this from now. So being a person of, of an acquisitive nature, sometimes I think oh, that looks like a really good photo of something I'm going to or reference from a catalogue or advert or something and I'm going to take a picture of that and keep that. And um, that's what I did in this case. Yeah, so that's not much good, is it? But anyway, this is the original advert for Ribbonette or an early advert for it. It tells you underneath Thomas Webb and Sons, patent number 33130, introduced in 1910. That's actually confirmed in one of my other books. So I'm quite happy with that date. But the, new, the piece of information that I don't see anywhere else is that it's still in the 1927-28 catalogue. So we know that it was probably made for about 20 years, maybe longer. It might have gone for three or four. I don't know what other catalogues they had available. So it might have been it's a bit like the um, Stuart ones where there's a 1928 catalogue and the next thing you know it's 1939. So it could have been made up to like 1937 or something. Like we don't know. But anyway, 20 years is a good estimate. And um, yeah, I only have this tumbler out of this service. Um, 
never seen this decanter. I do have this decanter shape with a different pattern on it. I think I've got four of them, but um, yeah, not with this ribbonette pattern, but I do have other decanters with the ribbonette pattern. I'll show you what I mean. So never seen the wine glasses. I would like to. Never seen this either, I don't think. I have seen other things and I will show you those. Um, I'll also show you something else if I can figure out how to do this, what's going on here. Sorry, my, my PC doesn't want to play. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, so this is a different pattern. It's a 36090, doesn't have a name. And, um, but I have this shaped decanter with the ribbon et pattern on it. So I can show you that. And look, the glass is the same shape that, or the tumbler is the same shape. This is the same shape. These are a different shape. In fact, I've got another advert plonged up as well. And I'll show you that one too. And you can see this is the fur cone suite. And you can see on here that the shape is the same as, so the tumbler s seems to be a common shape throughout. And I have a couple of other tumblers in that shape um, with other patterns as well. And I did have a bunch of these at one point, um, but I gave them away as a present, you know, sad but true. Um, I do things like that sometimes. Anyway, um, just thought I'd show you that there's what other things were going, but similar-ish at, at the time, because like this is 1911, the other one was 1915. So they were making a lot of this type of glass at that time. So I thought I'd just show you that. So um, these are the colors of tumblers that I have. I do know that there are clear tumblers and sort of like a bright blue ones as well. But um, this is what I have. I have this kind of pale khaki color. See the ribbon it there. This bright orange one. Then, it's, I don't know how you would call this, just brown, green. That's kind of pale khaki. This is more brownish, I'd say. And then you've got this bright green one. Yay. See it just a, this one's a bit. I should have picked the other one. I think the um, other glass I got is a bit more distinct because they're molded and um, by hand, and um, yeah, that's what happens sometimes. Some things have got very distinct patterns in them. Yes, so this one's I think the most distinct one of the ones I brought with me. Um, if I'd gone through the cupboard a bit more carefully, I could have probably picked better ones, but anyway, these are the colors that I have see what size they are they're kind of like a, they're a good good size um, don't put them in the dishwasher if you're going to use them like I do because that will be the death of them so here I have a couple of one pint tank tankards this one is the it's the same khaki color as the one that was the khaki color it's darker but I think it, that's mainly due to thickness of the glass it is actually the same shade this one is different it's difficult to tell here but it's a more plummy color than this one so they are it's not just a darker version so it's not like a different mix this one has definitely got yeah more purple so it's a different color and um so i've got i don't think i've got like half a dozen of those and then i've got a load of these ones and these ones which actually look the same size but they're actually not because yeah these are half pinters and uh, yeah and this is obviously a color match for the green one that I have see the down inside it see the ribbonette pattern inside but that's um I 
think the clear one might show you it better. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it there. Oh yeah, and they've all got polished pontal marks. Now, let me tell you something there as well. So I have about, I don't know, 16 tumblers. I have about 10 half pints, uh, six pinters, and um, yeah, I've got a jug that I haven't shown you yet. None of them are marked, okay, so don't be rushing. Yeah, it's definitely, this is definitely that. Um, because it was mentioned that these might be Stuart, but not one of any of all, all the ribbonette stuff I've got is marked. Um, which implies that it's early. Um, even, so like I've got all of the half pinters and stuff are in these colours and none of these are marked. So yeah. So let me show you another thing. So this is the jug I, I have. I am looking for another one. I need it to be a different colour. Every time I've seen one cheap, it's been this colour, because this is probably the least inspiring colour that they do it in. Um, this khaki, as you can see, if you look inside, you can see it's got the, the same zigzag pattern. You can see it there. And, and you can see the pantal mark. Can you see this bit here? There you, reach further away. There we go. So yeah, so that's the jug that goes with it, and it's very kind of. I think this is a very Edwardian shape. Um, but anyway, um, I've got a couple more bits to show you. I'm going to have to get even further away for those. So here are the decanters I have, which are like the. Um, the spiral pattern ones that I was showing you, um, but these are ribbonette, so they've got the same, see here, same tricorn um, pouring lip. You can see they've got the ribbonette pattern on the stopper and on the body, and again. It's got a pontal mark. There is no, um, there's no mark on them at all. It's funny that they're, they seem to, I haven't got them all around, have I? Have I? No. No, no, no. In fact, they're numbered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty certain that's the way Yeah. So, yeah, they seem to be, this one seems to have a longer neck than that one. It's just there. This bit's blown into a mould, but then the rest of it probably isn't. So anyway, um, yeah, I just noticed that I'd never really paid attention to it before. Um, yeah, that's why you do these videos to notice things. Anyway, um, these are the decanters that I have. I would love to have the ones with the slopey sides and the pointed stoppers. But I don't have those apart from in a pattern called Moyer. Um, and I'll show you those sometime. Um, anyway, this is uh, all of the glass that I have in this pattern. So this is the um, Stuart Crystal tumbler vase I was telling you about, which has got the same zigzag pattern on it, ribbonette pattern. Um, if I open this picture you can see the bottom of it I said it's got six sizes but you can see it is like a zigzag making up a star in this case and it's got Stuart England on it just here and that's my cat wanting to get in the video anyway um, in fact, I'll make it a bit bigger look at that you can see it really clearly there so the color of this so the Stuart amber is brighter than the white fries amber but the orange glass that i showed you earlier in the video is actually much brighter than this that is like a fluorescent orange um 
so not a color match for this so anyway I just thought I'd highlight that and as I said although all of my glasses all of the tumblers the the tankards the jug and the decanters none of them are marked so um, I'm not sure how many pieces that is in total it's probably uh, must be getting on to 40 or so so yeah probability is that they didn't mark any of them so there we have it um, the Thomas Webb ribbonette pattern and watch out because there's some little sneaky ones out and about that Stuart Crystal and maybe some others as well um, it's not very the stuff that I have is not massively uncommon um, I do see it from time to time obviously I'm going to buy more if I see it very cheap I mean it's like some of those glasses a charity shop buys and um, yeah so it is a good pattern I quite like it obviously it's what I'm using in my kitchen I think it's very kind of elegant and very deco in its way even though it started in 1910 um, so what else do I have to say nothing really um, it's just a good thing um, so I don't think I've really used any references I will um, I'll give you a link to the Pottery Gazette that I got some of those pictures from and um, I think that's it really so um, with that said please remember to like and subscribe thank you for watching have a good night good night